As the follow-up to Clerks, Mulrat suffered somewhat from second album Syndrome. It was a different prospect to Kevin Smith's breakout film, possessed of a more traditional plot, a budget, and a lot of slapstick humour. As a result, it didn't do that well in comparison and regularly remains an overlooked film in the Askewniverse library. It was actually the first Smith film I saw, and as such I have a fondness for the silly, silly movie. With fellow escapist Movie Bob just wrapping up his retrospective of Smith's career, I figured now's a good time to chime in and say, Mulrats is fun. So let's talk about Michael Rooker's ass. Early in the film, Michael Rooker is filmed fresh out of the shower, nothing but a towel around his waist, in an hilarious setup where Brody, played by Jason Lee, is helping a news team spy on him. After checking his reflection and shadow boxing, Rooker's towel falls away to showcase his ass, Moist and proud. Proud. And moist. Though glimpsed for only a small percentage of the film's running time, I'd wager less than 3%, Michael Rooker's lithe and supple ass is a hallmark of cinema history and easily the most provocative aspect of Mulrats as a film. Let's look at that ass again. Mmm, great. And now in slow motion. As you can see, there is a certain amount of movement in the ass, betraying a healthy amount of flesh. This is fine. You don't want an ass that's too rigid, too unyielding, cold and distant like a spurning lover, one might say. While defined and shapely, there is a sense that if one were to press their fingers into Michael Rooker's ass, as one might while kneading dough or massaging the scalp of an intimate partner, there would be a degree of sinkage that one would not find unpleasant. It would be warm, one can imagine, with a strong bedrock of muscle hidden behind the flesh, so as to remind us that Rooker may be sensitive, but he is far from a pushover. There are other elements to the movie as well. Michael Rooker's ass is subtly pink in Mulrats, akin perhaps to a newborn puppy taking its first faltering footsteps into an exciting new world. One believes, no, one hopes that if we were to, say, spank that ass correctively and with not a little momentum from both shoulder and elbow, that it would make a resonant sound. Yes, Michael Rooker, who starred in Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer, and most recently enjoyed prominence as Merle in AMC's hit smash show The Walking Dead, sports a most bountiful ass. I cannot imagine what treasures lay within, but if I were a betting man, I'd say it's worth a pretty penny. And of course, when we talk of moral rats, we cannot forget Michael Rooker's ass. Michael Rooker's ass. Michael Rooker's. Ass. Ah. <laughs>